Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Let's Play the Banner Saga 2, here, where we are in, um, wherever we are, and we're uh, being a dredge, if memory serves, I can't remember the name of the place we're in, but I think dredge are attacking us, a village, hopefully with a name, the Old Ford, along with Fieldgate, the Old Ford is one of the early constructions of man, that remains from days when Arborang was a modest series of farmhouses, also much like Fieldgate, it seems sees more far more traffic than its aging construction can handle, though it will most likely remain this way until it crumbles under its own weight. So that's where we are, the old ford, I assume. We're at this village, and we're being attacked, and I can press the right button, and uh, we're being attacked by dredge, and so we've got to work out what we're going to do with our time. We could head to the market, I suppose. Uh, we can't rest, and I think actually we've got quite a few people who are injured, if memory serves. No, we don't. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen due to timely crashes. Uh, we got the market. I think we've already looked at this and kind of stuck with our food. We've got 16 days to go. I think we'll stick with our food as it is. So we either go to the volunteers or the houses. I can't remember what was employed about either of them. I should have watched my old stuff. Um, should have watched the last video. It's going up today, actually. So I'm going to be looking at it in a moment anyway. Um, oh well. That would have been sensible. Uh, houses or volunteers. I think that's kind of about getting defend defensive structures, maybe. Which is probably what we need. Walking among the buildings, a few ravens introduce you to a carpenter from the town. Easy enough to bring a few of these homes and barns down, he says, pointing with a hammer. If you and your ravens help me cut some of the materials from them, we'll make it so any force coming across that bridge will pay dearly. Hmm... We don't have any archers to take advantage of that. Not to worry, the man says. We've got a few. They're not the best shots in the world, but they can help. What do you say? We don't have much time, but get started. Right away, the carpenter says. We'll start here. A few hours later, stake walls are in place as the dredge arrive. They might not say they might not save us, you tell No, you might not they might not save us, you tell Falker, but we'll be able to kill a few more than before. Yeah, I think it was better. I mean, probably that was probably training people. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. We'll see. The shield maiden tightens tighten straps on her armor while glaring at you with red rimmed eyes. If you've got something to say, say it. We'll be dead before long. We don't have to be. We could leave. Right now. Whoever's after us would roll through here without slowing. We'd be caught in the open. Then we can leave that cart here and let the dredge have it. I gave an oath to. <laughs> an oath isn't worth all our lives. I don't know what that question is. Is that going, yeah, okay, let's go, but where are we going? Or is that, okay, where would we go? Think about this. That's going to lead to an argument. That's going to lead to an argument. Although this is Bolvek. It is, though, kind of if you give your word you're going to do something. As a mercenary, it's rather helpful to keep that. So maybe I should go with that first one. Hmm. Though I think the way he seems to be going, like, we're going to get caught out in the open. Maybe and go where is the key one. It's kind of the continuing that logical thought. And go where? Anywhere. Arbarang. Did you forget, Borsgard? Arborang will be twice as bad. Then southeast, maybe we'll find Horsborn, or we can take a long ship west across the vast. You stare at her, having seen desperation in fighters like this plenty of times. The ravens can't outrun these dredge again, and I won't see him starve on a boat or worse. We make our stand here. It'll be our last stand. Then so be it. Falker clenched her jaw, her eyes water. What would you do if the person you followed for years was no longer the same? Oh, is this because I've taken over and he's all been a bit weird? I don't know. Or maybe it's the... It's either me or Bellower. I don't know who's affecting him more. 
Um, which is the more malicious invader to his personality. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I don't have time to figure out what you're talking about. I mean, clearly she's implying something about us. Clearly. Kill them, take over you want to try? No. Because I don't want to fight her. I'm trying to figure out what's happening to me. Yeah, we'll go with that one. You said yourself will be dead soon. What have you come up with? There's a voice in my head, growing louder. I've been fighting to keep it quiet. Bellower's voice, probably. But Bellower's dead? His body? He's asleep. I think the arrow keeps him that way. Vulcan nods. The conclusion doesn't seem too far-fetched for her. Though it, these dreams are things he's seen. The Vulcan did something to betray him. They were working with the Sundra? I think so. But this is more to do with Ivan than Juno. They did something. Something bad. I don't even think Sephra knows what they did. The two of you look over at Sephra. Sephra. The Vulcan stares into a fire, lost in thought. So what does it all mean? I don't know. <laughs> I figured as much. Still, it feels better knowing I'm not the only one in the dark. You look up at the sharp contrast between the constant sunshine and the black wall. Hey, I guess we'll all be d in the dark soon enough. A scout's horn signals all fighters. I get it. All fighters to the bridge. If we make it through all this, someone in Manahar is going to answer to me. You storm off to the fighting, building your rage with each step. Ah! Ah! That, that's my rage. Ah! Oh, never mind. The immensity of the dredge force standing just across the bridge is both terrifying and wondrous. Their droning sounds shake the ground and you wonder if the old ford can withstand it. Fear is strong in the air. You faintly hear some humans running away, but your ravens stand firm against the impossible odds. You grant yourself a moment of pride for that. Suddenly, the tall wall of dredge warriors begins to move. What? Is that where you're going with that? This is this is this is grim. 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 Uh, right, so, th so the dredge are bringing the dead back to life. Okay, well, back to life. Zombies. Flipping zombies. <laughs> I, at first I was like, oh, they've got a Valka working with them. Oh, no, no. Oh, horror. Horror upon horrors. Do I want to use you, mate? I'm worried about what he's going to do, so having that will be useful. I think I'll promote you, just to make you slightly better for things. And then I can put up your will and your health. Keep you alive a bit longer, I think. Um, and actually, I'll give you that. So you're less likely to get into fights, and that'll keep you alive a little bit longer. Just a tad. How much renown have we got? I don't really want... I think we'll leave it there. I don't want to use any more, just in case I need it for food. I don't want to die. Eyeless. Eyeless, eyeless, eyeless. Isn't that the name? Is that Nichols? But he's dead. Yes, yes, well done. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. That isn't Nichols, but Eilis. Yeah, 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 that one was obvious. Right, uh, where am I putting you? Actually, I probably want to put you on one edge. And put you on the other edge, I think. I think that's a sensible thing. Something resembling sense. Just 
slowly go forward. Yay! Break your armor. Pummel your armor, sir. I don't think there's any point in using a willpower until, uh, until we need to. Yeah, that was probably a bit of a mistake, admittedly. Hmm. I should have been thinking about my positioning a bit better. Oh well, my ordering. I don't know what, what horrors can he unleash upon me. Not that much. I'll put you there. Why aren't you firing? My dear. You haven't done anything, love. Let's see on. And then he runs away. Hmm. That could have gone better. And that also could have gone better. Oh, so they just go after my first person. I see. Wow, oh, hello. Hello again, Eilus. We meet. We meet. We meet. I can break your armor. I can break your armor and kill you. Like that. Oh, poor Sigbjorn. Can I grab one of you and make you attack me? Yes. Rah, 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 rah. Put you next to Bulbuck. What could possibly go wrong being next to a Berserker? Okay, I probably should have moved you out. Hold on. Anyone I can insult? Maybe. Uh, no, that's going to cost me two willpower anyway. That's not going to do me anything. I may as well move. I kind of like him being behind a wall. I'll just insult this guy who's just gone, which is rather pointless, thinking about it. Why am I so slow? Normally it tells you why you're so... Oh! I should, is that as far around as I can get? That's a bit of a bad one. Break arm up. Yay, damage. Yay, damage. Who's go which of you is going next? Nope. Ah, white the whitey. Smash some armor up. Woo! Chip, 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 chip. Ah, oh, there's a crack there. Oh, it's good to find this stuff out. That's from meandering. Oh, I'll just kill you, I think. Oh, and that gives Eilis a bit of fun. Your armor break is a bit rubbish, isn't it? Oh dear. What a light it's Oh well. No, I don't want no, this is the problem I had the first time we thought poor Eyeless. Is No, she's not taking over people though. Hmm. Very interesting.
suspicious grunts, I think, will delay. You're not as vicious as you think you are. I assume that, like the other one with Eyeless, this is going to be a if you die, you lose fight. So, as in, if you lose, you lose. Shoot the one with the blue scarf. Does it look like he has a blue scarf? Shatter his armor, please. But I've heard more shattering of armor, thank you very much. That's what you get for not shattering his armor. But, no, you did. Shut up, I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, no. No, I... No. No. Uh. Wait. Wait, shenanigans. Shenanigans, he just went. Shenanigans. Shenanigans, sir. Uh, shenanigans. I think we're having gonna have an issue. I think we're about to lose horribly. Because I need to take down Sigbjorn, and I've done no damage to... Right. I've done no damage to... Oh, you get all of his abilities! That's so mean. I mean, it makes complete sense, but it's still not. I suppose that's the point, is your Eyeless does as much damage as gets all your abilities, so if you level people up, that can be really bad. Oh yeah, I'm stuck here. This was a terrible plan. Why did I do this? A little bit of damage, so he can't hurt me that badly. I don't know what just happened. I think it occurred. Oh, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Nearly kill him. But don't actually kill him. Basically weaken everyone to the point where oh the archers are gonna kill people. Okay, we're about to this is gonna go very badly. Storm. Chip away at him very slowly. Don't kill him, but do a decent amount of damage. Two more maybe? Okay, I'm happy with five actually. You're a very naughty archer. It's the exact opposite of this plan. You're not paying attention. There's no one I can insult. That was a terrible plan. What are you even trying to do there? 